Oh, hopefully that's me live. Happy Sunday, my creative clan. How are you all doing? Have you had an awesome week? Uh, today, I promised you in last week that we were going to finish the butterfly, but it took longer than <laughs> anticipated. So today we're going to finish the needle felted butterfly. Details in the description of the video. It's from the Maker's monthly subscription box. Um, and I think we're going to finish it just in time because I think I might be getting my dash hand box next week. If not, I have a different kit for a Bengal cat that we might have a try at. So we'll see what's see what's happening. But there's an idea anyway. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely going to finish the butterfly today. It's looking awesome. I haven't touched it since last week because that would be cheating. Um, but yeah, so. As ever, if you can let me know in the chat how things are going with the stream, is everything working, can you see me, can you hear me, and just generally say ha hello, how your week's been, and what's happening, and we will get started in a very short minute. I am talking very fast because I'm ridiculously tired. Um, basically, <laughs> personal bits that you don't need to know. I'm not getting that personal. But basically the grass outside my house that I think I just mentioned last week hadn't been cut since the lockdown thingy happened. Yeah, they cut it. They cut it this week. So all the pollen is in my eyeballs. So yeah, wonderful. Anyway. That's that's enough of a moan from me, but yeah, that, that explains why I'm ridiculously bright, because I'm not. I'm very, very tired. Um, okay, but it looks like we have a few people in the house already. Um, George on the Rocks is here, um, here before I even started, so hello there, good to see you. Uh, Lisa, it's working fine. Oh, thank you so much. Hello, Pam and all. Hello there, Lisa. How are you doing? Good to see you. Southport, love the name. Yay. Um, hello there. Good to see you. Yeah, so, try, oh, I was, I was going to do a whole thing. What have I been doing this week? How wonderful it's been. Where has this week gone? It's like days are just going so quickly now. Um, an update on what's happening in our country because some people seem to like that. Um, I believe our next our next stage of regulations are lifting a wee bit. There's all sorts of things in a couple of weeks we might be able to be allowed to drive a little further than five miles although I accidentally broke the rules slightly on Thursday here we go telling you in the stream I'm a lawbreaker it's it's not quite it's only a guideline is the five miles but I was going to go to the supermarket with my dog in the car she has a crate she's all comfy in the car she loves it but I usually go to the supermarket when it's not too horrible not too bright warm weather go to the supermarket because there's a nice walk right next to it but i got in the car and realized that scotland was having a ridiculous heat wave it was like well over 30 degrees in my car and getting hotter so i thought better not and there's there's a river the river clyde isn't far away from my house so i thought that's not far we'll just drive there we'll go paddle in the river i knew it was a, a little quiet area that i know about that most people don't i wasn't going to do what the crazy people in england here have been doing um some people have been going to beaches in droves frightening looking sign frightening pictures and you're just like there is still a virus in the world people but i kind of was driving there and i noticed that my that it was a little further than I thought, but still, myself and my dog Mia had a fab afternoon paddling in the River Clyde, so yeah, it was worth it. It was good for me. But yeah, in a few few weeks, a week or so, we're going to be allowed to move, travel a little bit farther, so that will be lovely. Because by this time of year, I've usually gone to Loch Lomond, I've usually gone to the beach, I've usually gone and yeah, none of those places have been allowed. But hey, it's it's worth. It's not a great hardship if it stops illness spreading. And Scotland seems to be doing not bad. Not as good as New Zealand, but not bad. And I managed to do that update without using the words that will get this video demonetized. So yay, go me! Right. Um, Lisa's the same with hay fever. Oh, I'm sorry. It's annoying me so much. Yeah, I'd I'd done not bad details that people don't want but usually it's this eye my right eye gets really bad with hay fever um and if i don't if i forget about taking antihistamines for a day or two it gets 
really bad and it's difficult to get it shifted so I've been really good so far like all this year so far I've kept on top of it but no they didn't warn me they were going to cut the grass or anything and the, the, the world didn't warn me the weather was going to change to rainy because that makes me much worse as well so yeah there we go <laughs> Uh, George on the Rocks works great. Thank you. Oh, you finally have a new laptop. Fantastic. Haven't had a computer for about eight months. I can't even imagine. Been doing everything on your phone so you haven't been able to see a live. Oh, wow. I couldn't live without my computer now. I I barely watch TV. Like, my tally is hardly on nowadays. So I can't imagine not having a computer. So, wow. So enjoy the new laptop. New toys. Yay. Alex, hello Pam. Hello there, Alex. Right, shall we get down into work? And no, you didn't you didn't come here to hear me babbling, so here is Oh the lighting's not right. Laptop, go back a bit. Everything's gonna collapse, so just so I can get the lighting a little bit better. My microphone's moving here, it's gonna collapse on me, nervous. Um but here is the butterfly. I hopefully yeah, on my screen it looks good. I figured out the settings to hopefully show you the actual real life colours a little bit better. So this is a bit what it's looking like. And what we have to do, the stages we have to do so f to finish her, finish her up, is the black outlines and also just yeah, we've got the shading in the eye spots on the wings and then a little bit of the the veins in the wings to make them look wingy uh, to make them look alive <laughs> um basically so that is all we have to do um i'll show you the instructions because i'm going to go off piste i ha i did read the rest of the instructions a little bit um but i didn't touch it didn't do any felting but i just i want to do things slightly differently which is perfectly okay i'm still following the guides but the next step from the makers would be to fill in all the black and then come in with some of the other colors um, but I want to actually finish off the colouring and the eye spots and then do the black over the top. That's just me. It just makes more sense to me. But if you're doing this kit, I would totally follow the steps the makers give you because they've tested it. They, Unlike me, who if I'm doing a tutorial, I literally just make it and then film film myself making it and go, yeah, that's how you make it. The makers are professional and actually practice the stuff a few times before they actually do a tutorial on it so yes yeah. <laughs> so i'm going off piste just to let you know there that's that's my plans so we're skipping the black outline just now and going into putting the red orange color into the middle of the eye spots here and then there's going to be a bit of black so let's get on with that so here's my red orange color uh which needle Here's my stabby needle, and we'll just. Get, in fact, no, no, I'm lying, because yeah, when you look at that, the orange kind of blends out a little bit into this color thing. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go off piste over even more. Um, yeah, so we've got to do a mix of blue, pink, and white to make this lovely color. Let's do that. So I'll do that. I'll do the blue, then I'll do the orange, then I'll do the black. We're going backwards. We're going crazy. So what colours did I say? I want some pink. I think it's mainly a pink colour. So some pink. Some white. I don't even know if this is the white that came in the kit. This is just white that I've got sitting about here. And a little bit of blue. Do I want more white than that? I want more white than that. That's a diff <laughs> another different white. So we'll just blend this up then I can check the chat. Um... Oh, George on the Rocks tends to migraines. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I also get migraines. Thankfully, it's just a handful a year. It's not a real common thing, but they are utterly horrible. I think I do get them more when I drink too much coffee, and I have been drinking coffee just now as a kind of bad habit. I don't need it. I've just been drinking it. I go through phases where I totally give up coffee, and then sometimes I just... I drink it all the time and I'm in a drinking it all the time I really could do with giving it up but yeah it's a habit I get up 
and I'm doing my morning my morning work so my morning um <laughs> doing the e-rank stuff um I sit with my morning coffee and then when I'm done with that then um then I'm off the coffee for a bit but yeah it just seems to be a way to break up my day I'll I'll do that and then go oh yeah it's coffee time and yeah that's that's a crazy way to do things um anyway Rosani hey hey there hello there Rosani good to see you um <laughs> George on the rocks yeah yeah it sounds like me I have an idea of what I want to paint and then you wing it kill that's that's creative people <laughs> A Rosani, the colours speak to us. Exactly, yeah. Sometimes you've just got to, you've got to go where the colours or the materials or whatever takes you. Uh, the, the only way you can't really do that is, well, to an extent. But I find when I'm making sculptures for customers, before when I started needle felting, I would make stuff. I would start to make stuff, and I had an idea, like I was making a deer or something, and then two hours into it I'll go now you are you're seriously a duck aren't you so I'll just follow it but when you're making things for commissions you have to beat it into submission you have to say no I'm well aware that you're looking a bit frog like and it would be fun to make a frog just now but no <laughs> this is work I have to force you into becoming a dog <laughs> basically um and yep, George is agreeing with Rosani. And Faith's in the house. You're sitting stabbing along today. Awesome, Faith. Are you doing the butterfly? And what stage are you at with the butterfly if you're doing it? There's me assuming. Um, okay, I think we've blended this to a nice... Not as blended as it could be, but I think it will still look awesome. So I'm going to put that into these areas where the pink needs to be. Which should be a nice, easy stab. Um... Right, I'm aware. I will warn you all just now. Good. I know this is going to happen. Um, because this is going to be a more of a fiddly make. How far does this pink go? Do we go here? Because this is going to be more of a fiddly make, I warn you in advance. You're going to get, you're going to get the top of my head. <laughs> I am very sorry. <laughs> That's just going to happen. Um, because I'm going to want to get in and have a have a look at everything. So. Yes, I'm I'm already sorry. <laughs> I'm aware that is going to happen. So, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> um Just I think yeah, I think we want to I like this pink color anyway, so I'm going to bring it down here as well. I think in the original drawing this is more white, but that's a really pretty color. So, yeah, we'll go right from the yellow all the way up here and shade it out and that way as I show you where the orange is coming with bits coming over the pink for me that's just going to be a wee bit easier so that's the pink in and there's even <laughs> serendipity happy accidents there's even a little darker bit there which makes it feel a bit like I did some kind of planned blending which I didn't Okay, so this is a little crescent of blue comes on the tips. I will, I'll do this bit and then we'll take it to the good felting mat with a fast needle and we'll felt this in. But I just want to get the colour placement first. So here we go. A little crescent of blue. These colours are so pretty and gentle and not what I would have thought to put in a butterfly wing at all. So that is super cute. So just trying to make it narrower here and then fattening out. Okay, that looks good. <laughs> this is fun seeing all the seeing all of it come to life a little bit more. I do like the final section, but that's always I procrastinate so much. I would just spend like four hours felting this super fast and chickening out of doing the the final bit because I know that's when it all comes together and it can look awesome or you can ruin it <laughs> okay so the bits down here as well this is a really nice blue color I like this it's a proper little sky blue coming towards turquoise almost but it is really nice 
this is cool i will have to tie i've got a pile of colors now just sitting at the side from all the makers makes i'm really gonna have to sort them out because usually i just have like dog colors so all these extra colors are exciting for give me ideas for different projects and I still I keep looking and keep thinking and I really have to make that dob, Bob Dob Bob Ross doll. I'm excited to do that. And I thought as well if I'm going to be working on people and faces, well I thought Bob Ross will be Bob Ross because of his hair, and that's that's his thing. And I thought well I've got to do me then too <laughs> because everyone associates oh everyone associates me with the hair colour. So I've got to do a me as well, which I think will be fun. Right, those colours, and now we're on to the orange and then the yellow. Ooh. Okay, so the orange has two little fine wispies coming out of it. So I'm just taking a little bit, rolling it between my fingers and popping it there. And then Put a bit of orange. I did put yellow there. I might put a little bit more yellow there. It's getting lost. And I'm just trying to blend some of this orange into the wispies so it fades. It, they, so they become together. That's the technical term. Um, yeah, and there's a big wispy down there. That goes almost right up to the blue. And then, whoops, a little wispy. Just here, and there's almost a wisp there. It's so cool to have a picture right next to me here. The picture I'm following on with. Mine is not going to look identical, but I still think it's going to be kind of cool. And actually, when I look... The yellow sort of fades into the orange a bit, so yeah, I think putting some yellow on top will be pretty cool too. Just to tie those colours together. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, they just kind of fuzzle onto each other a little bit. I'm sure in the painting, she she paint you know brushed strokes happened, but we can't do brushed strokes with felting. Um, but yeah. Here we go. A little fuzzy of orange. And then let's move on to the mat and make a lot of noise. <laughs> oh, hang No, yeah. Thank you. I remembered somebody. Who was it that told me last week? Put the brush on top of the foam mat and then you don't make so much noise. Cool. So let's see what's happening in the chat. Um... George on the rocks, yeah, you're channeling the in inner animal. <laughs> um, Faith saying you're doing the butterfly, but did the butterfly first and working on the background. Awesome, yeah, so you went off piste too, breaking the rules a bit. <laughs> I can totally understand wanting to do the butterfly first because it is such a beautiful thing. Like the background's lovely, but if you get the focal point perfect first, then it'll all then you feel better about making it. Um, uh, Lisa, you need coffee breaks. It's called conditional behaviour. You do it all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And a treat after a boring job. Well, confessions. Um, the coffee break possibly comes with a bit of chocolate as well. So I think I used the coffee as an excuse to eat chocolate rather than actually needing the coffee. <laughs> but yes, it's a treat. It's a reward. And that is a really good thing. Something that I learnt from when I started doing the journaling, which I haven't been so good at. But if you're breaking your tasks up, if you're saying I have to do this thing, and just in the journal, just about to tick it, I'm writing with this thing. I'm just about to put it in your journal, just about to tick off, go, that's a task that I needed done for the day. Then that's rewarding in itself. So if you're saying, yes, once I've done this bit of a task, I stop and reward myself. I stop and do something very different that says we've moved on from that one task. It really makes a world of difference. And you you feel like you're doing something. If you just 
like a normal job your day is sort of I do I, I come in at nine o'clock I do my stuff till five o'clock and then I'm finished whereas if you can break it up if you can say here it is I've done one task I'm going to break for just now because I'm rewarding myself for being good um, this felt up so much quicker I'm loving this um face you have really really enjoyed mixing the colors of something i haven't done before and i love it fantastic yeah color blending i should oh right i could maybe i don't know whether to make a video for this like a proper filmed video or do in a live stream but i was thinking about doing some kind of a video to show you how to felt and draw but how to do eyes and how to blend the colors and just make them look more realistic because the color blending in things like that it just yeah it just makes all the difference so if you're interested let me know um i can't remember if i spoke about this before but it's it's coming on from part of when i'm doing my digital art the difference between a flat rubbish dog picture and an amazing one is just how you do the color blending in the eyes and that's the same for when I was drawing with felt tips it's the same for when I'm 2d felting it's the same for when I'm doing digital art it's it's just all in knowing where to put the colors um, excuse me hiccups uh, Rosani will this project be similar to a tapestry thickness eh. um it's not really that thick at all it's yeah we're just putting wisps of color on i'm really liking this because it's printed underneath the it's like a paint by numbers the the colors are there underneath and you're just putting the finest wisps on top so it's really it's not even as thick as a piece of like pre-made felt or something it's very thin I can't really show you because that's not felted properly but yeah well this is the the thickness of the piece of fabric and the felt is going literally right into it it's it's really really fine it's interesting because my 2d pieces have always been thicker because I, I lay down a lot of felt <laughs> being honest um, <laughs> Lisa loves the noise <laughs> yeah AMS R. is that the right word Autom the, 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 I can't remember but yeah <laughs> Lily Tree hello there great to see you um, <laughs> I have faith saying yes yes please did I not just offer you a choice of things I could do that you're you're as bad as my dad used to be do you want tea or coffee yes but, no that wasn't a yes <laughs> So yes, you would like some kind of a video showing how to do shading on eyes, whether I make it a, a live video um, or whether we do it as a... Should I do a film? I haven't done a filmed needle felting video for ages, mainly just because the time. <laughs> it's easy to sit down and do this because while I'm working, it's going out and everything but uh, yeah I just can't seem to get the time to sit down and record a video but actually thinking about it with this entire setup rather than going live I can just hit film and then I can edit it so yeah I might try that because that would be fun for I still really want to do that nerdy crafter video her tutorial of doing dragons and I could do it with this setup so yeah um Rosani, um, could it be attached to a throw pillow? I think it really could be, yes. Um, absolutely. That would be really pretty. I, I need, my house is far too little, but I need a sofa back there with throw pillows and stuff. <laughs> that would be so cool. And I was like, right, I'm just going to try something. And I was thinking of how can I put this up against the wall. That would be kind of cool to, ha to start having pictures on the wall. Um, Right, have I felted all these bits in yet? I think I have. Because we're already filling up on my on my side thingy here with all crafty stuff. I think it's pretty it's cool. I I'm really happy I, I had that idea, even though you guys don't even know the trouble I had trying to get that little tiny corner unit into that little tiny corner there. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Um, OK, 
Okay, where had I got to? Oh, oh, that's that's the colours apart from the veins on the wings. We're on to the black. Okay, so this is the bit. This is the bit where I'm going to be leaning in and getting in the way and you're going to see the top of my head and loads of nose. So <laughs> Already, I'm sorry. Sorry in advance, but yeah, it'll be cool. Um, where to start? Right, I've got all of this black to do. Should I start on a wing or should I start on the body? Or should I do some of the spots? I'm going to do these these blue spots at the bottom that looks like something something good to start on that I can probably do um, uh, Serena yay I'm finally here Kitty's decided to hide my phone all morning oh no <laughs> nightmare Steffi yay uh, just put your head in wasn't sure if Sophie was here <laughs> Oh, hi there. Good to see you. Butterfly's looking amazing. Thank you. I managed to change my colour settings in, in that camera um, to actually make it look like a lot more like what it looks like. It was a bit muted last week. How do I like the multi-tool? Absolutely fantastic. It's really felt in these in so much quicker. Works with the mat absolutely perfectly. So thank you so much. Um... Leah, you've recently started needle felting and a few people have said I should sell them. Yeah, it's it's a really I I think it's a cool thing to do with your with your craft because it gives for me, um, selling them gives me an outlet to kinda get rid of them. <laughs> um the more you practice like I'm not selling the ones from the kit and I'm not selling some of the can you even see see them? Yeah, I'm not selling the my felt that I'm getting from the kits because that's not my work um although there's nothing that that that's up to the makers what the copyrights on their kits are and everything um but when you're making your own things you can build up like you need to make a lot of things to practice and get good and find your own style so if people if people are willing to buy them then yeah it's a cool it can be a cool little boost of income um it's but be be aware if you haven't seen my other videos um building up to selling is hard work in itself um you you start off and your friends who like them you know you've got a few friends who buy stuff but getting out to the wider market can be really tricky i mean unless you're absolutely fabulous right from the get-go i certainly wasn't <laughs> um but it takes a bit, but it's nice to have it as an extra income, I think. Right, so this has a little kind of circle-y thing. Um, I'm going to do a black blob and then put a blue blob on top because I'm not very good at that fine of a detail, so that's what we'll do there. Oh, and yeah, um, Steffi, just, just, you'll, you'll have noticed, I went slightly off-piste and did these bits before I'm doing the black bits because I can't follow instructions and I go off piece. Hope that's okay. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. The boss is here. <laughs> um, there we go. So on that side, that yeah, the black. I, I love black. In case you hadn't guessed that, but I love how it just brings out the color of other things when you put black beside something. And that really makes a difference. So we'll get the black done on these bits, and then I'll go onto the go onto the brush mat and felt them in firmly, and we'll see how that looks. But yeah, this is the bit where it's all going to tie together, and I'm getting excited for how this is going to look because it's such a beautiful kit. I hopefully I don't mess it up, <laughs> but so far so good. And yeah, the printed, how, however you got this printed, ladies, it is absolutely gorgeous and such a good idea. And you can do so much with that. I think there's, you know, there's so much scope for anything because anybody can make something nice if they've got the nice picture to follow. So yay, it's <laughs> so much easier. And clearly having such amazing artist friends doesn't hurt either to paint you this kit that was gorgeous. Right, 
I'm going to felt the black in, check the chat, and then I think we'll do those top ones next. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Steffi's enjoying being able to to be on to be on the side of chat to speak to to speak to all the all the people that you see from my side. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Um, uh, Steffi, yeah, um, the makers have no problem with people sell the finished make. They are yours. We just get grumpy when people photocopy our instructional copy our kits. Oh, too right, yeah. That's that should be standard with anything. Um, the kits, the the instructions, all that. That completely is the maker's work, and that should not be shared in any way. But what you make, I I very much believe that as well but I, I wouldn't sell these um unless I don't know I suppose for charity maybe sometimes um but yes what what you make because everybody's work is different and that that reminds me of a thing um yeah for for a while there my mum was getting loads of hassle from a pattern maker my mum's a knitter um and she bought this really cute pattern years ago at a craft fair and the pattern had nothing about copyright instructions on it apart from the quite right do not recreate the actual written pattern so she didn't but she took the pattern and she made some of them um, and then she reworked the pattern and made kiddies versions and you know did loads of cool things with it um, and she'd got them up on her shop and they're absolutely, I won't even tell you what they are because we don't want to get into trouble and stuff, but absolutely version, gorgeous versions of this based on the original pattern but her own work um, and then the pattern holder started a shop on Etsy and I believe they were still only selling the pattern but they came after my mum and told my mum to take those items down that they were their copyright and everything and it totally isn't <laughs> my mum used a pattern to create a thing she's perfectly fine to sell that but oh, horrible people so they had a wonderful pattern but they're nasty people um <laughs> Serena's saying um, you do love the, the bloopers um, I'm assuming that's the makers because I totally never have bloopers <laughs> all the time yeah anybody who goes live I right I, I was going to go into the next bit but I'll do this little story first before I went live um, I was so worried about everything being perfect and most especially because I have dogs and dogs bark and you know that's the thing so I was so worried that everything had to be perfect in a live stream and my my friend and youtube mentor and um, brian g johnson i was following him and he was starting to do live streams on his on his youtube channel and just as i'm saying you probably can't hear it but just now me is fluffing up the carpet <laughs> oi <laughs> um but his poodles are sometimes in the background and sometimes they bark and that was like oh that's a relief to me and then in one of the streams one of his dogs actually peed on the carpet while he was streaming and I, I get that was probably quite stressful for him but I found it not only hilarious but also it was it was kind of motivating for me because it said, you know, if th this thing's happening in his stream and it hasn't ruined the stream for me. This is still a watchable stream. It was a hilarious stream. But, you know, that was, I, so I was like, well, if things go wrong, it's live. So, yeah. Uh, Steffi, you almost always change the order even when you write instructions. And this one Sophie wrote so you wouldn't be any the way. So, oh, cool, I'm not going to get into trouble. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Steffi, the worst was the on Friday when you were setting up, but you pressed go live by accident, and then suddenly realised, oh, I have done that. Well, not even sometimes everything's messed up for some reason, and I hit go live, and in the the YouTube thingy where you run your stream from, is it? It's sitting there going, nope, nope, nothing's happened, and I'm going well what, what's happened where's it gone and I sit and I talk and I go and then I stop it and I try again and what I discover is it's gone live with a different 
web key so it's up on my channel but it's not at the place where i can see it which is absolutely crazy oh cj hello there <laughs> And thank you for the super sticker, super chat sticker. How's it going? It's going awesome. Thank you so much. I totally forgot about those stickers. That was great fun. <laughs> um, Rosani, so glad to see familiar folk and others. Hi to everyone. Oh, thank you. If you haven't been already, please join us at Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends on Facebook. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the plugs. Yep. Um... Serena can't stand people that photocopy instructions to sell on. Yeah, they're thieves. Simple. They're they're horrible people. Um, and Serena saying about the the live, uh, you remember that, but you didn't didn't even realise you didn't know you were live until you giggled and you laughed so loud. <laughs> Fantastic. And Steffi saying you died a million times. <laughs> I'm I'm upset. I missed that now. I am awful at catching lives just now. I time time seems to go away oh yeah Steffi so stressful for the bloopers but funny for the watchers absolutely Alicia hello there hey Faith Pam and Steffi hello there um and Faith there were only two or three of us watching at that point we didn't mind <laughs> love your concentration face <laughs> fantastic oh I'm so <laughs> yeah, I, 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 we've all had that. The the wonders of technology, isn't it? Right, second wing. There's a little blob of black goes in here, and it's a kind of blended, fady, wispy blob, of, wispy blob of black. So I won't put too much down. Oh, but it goes down to the yellow. Can you tell I'm kind of procrastinating because I don't want this to be rubbish. I want this to be good. Uh, and then above the blue, there's a bit that goes around here. And I'm also, right, I, there is the picture that the makers made of this, which is awesome. But I'm just looking at this and then I want to see how, how I did afterwards. <laughs> So I'm not really looking at it. Um, okay, this looks a kind of thick, wobbly, thicker and thinnery bit because that's what butterfly wings do. That line goes to there. Sorry, talking to myself. It's hard to concentrate and talk at the same time. Um, and then, oh, this is so much detail. It's I love it. Um, and I was sensible enough I put wispy enough yellow there so I can see where I've got to go with the black hopefully <laughs> this should really start bringing it to life hopefully But I do see ever so tiny little bits of yellow going down there. So we shall do that. I'm making up for the fact that this is all rushed by trying to add the little details. <laughs> because yeah totally everybody who's got this kit spend your time and really enjoy it because it's like really awesome and I've not made anything like this before my my 2D felts are completely different that looks cool oh there's another bit going now I didn't leave that bit so I can see it so we're just going to kind of imagine it So from here, a little bit going down, and from about here. That looks 
that's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alicia saying, um, that's why we love you. Think I would have died. <laughs> Oh, CJ, the butterfly's looking awesome. Thank you. Yes, I'm super happy with how it's going so far. Learning lots, having fun, trying different equipment. It's it's all good. Um, oh, Steffi, what are you talking about? Your butterfly will be awesome. It already looks good. <laughs> Thank you. It's so pretty. Um, Alicia, I'm dying laughing and embarrassed for you, so I'm sure they'll have forgotten. <laughs> oh, Rosani, thank you. It's looking lovely and really beginning to pop. Thank you so much. It's it's for sure getting there. And yeah, it, it's popping a whole lot more once I've figured out how to add the contrast <laughs> to the camera. That makes a world of difference if you can make the picture look the colours it's supposed to be. Because yeah, last last week I was looking at it going, that just feels a little bit wishy-washy compared to what it's actually looking like. Technical difficulties. is cool um what i'm actually doing when i'm looking like an absolutely insane person i'm felting a bit and then i would normally kind of put it away from myself and see what i think of it but what i'm able to do here i'm felting a bit and then i'm looking up at my screen to see what it looks like on camera so yeah it's that's an interesting different thing for if you're <laughs> if you're doing it with technology i don't need to step away from things to see if it looks okay yeah, so I, I realised I probably look a little bit as insane doing a little bit and then looking up. I'm just, I'm just admiring my own work. <laughs> so I've just got this little bit to do and then the little mirror to that bit and then we will work on felting this in. Oh, does that? Well, this side doesn't have the little yellow lines, but it does have this this bit which kind of goes about here I'm trying to leave it wispy at the end because she let her brush brush strokes show through the the artist um, and it kind of goes here I've gone all quiet again. Right. Cool. So far, so good. Well, let's get that on. Check the chat. Um, oop. I just did something there. Um, oh, Serena's saying there. Mums are very judgy because you're only 23 with four kids. Well, do you know they're only judgy because they don't have the energy. They <laughs> they wish they had the energy that you can have. I'm sure it doesn't feel it sometimes. But yeah, don't don't let anyone else judge your life. That's that's your life. It's not theirs. Um, Uh, Alicia, you watched me make the Maker's Hedgehog. I love the Maker's Hedgehog for a from ages ago while you worked on the seashells today. Awesome, cool. I I missed the seashells, <laughs> but yes, the uh, hedgehog was lovely. I'd wanted to do that hedgehog to get that hedgehog fabric forever. Um, it's so beautiful, and to have to have instructions. I've got hair going in my mouth here. To have instructions of how to how to do a hedgehog was so much fun um i mine wasn't perfect but i had fun making it um uh, south pose just ordered you hope you get this yeah i think yeah there's still some time for the butterfly kit is, is there is there i can't remember i think so but i'm sure the girls might be able to 
sent to send you the butterfly because it is an awesome kit. Um, Faith saying, I do love how the picture is printed onto fabric, making me able to work a framework, but also choose my own way a bit too. Absolutely, it's so cool. Um, and yeah, having the colours there, it means not only do you know what you've got to do, but if you 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 don't have to felt every single bit. You could felt bits to let them pop. I I think this would be a cool thing to do with maybe just having you know maybe not felt in the background on some some things felt in the eyes you know just felt in bits of something and have them pop where letting the printed bits show through i think that would be awesome um uh alicia make sure and join the facebook group everyone's a maker absolutely a really great group as well that's the the makers group but yeah um, pop along there as well yes um, oh Serena decided not to get this box as I can't get on with 2D at all um, but we'll take a hat off to you it's really beautiful you bought the squirrel kit instead of the sub box yeah well that's it everybody's got different skills and different interests it's a completely different skill set I enjoy the challenge but I totally understand why it's not for everyone and here we go makers plug because why not because they are awesome but you can you can pause your subscription at any time so if there's a kit you're like i don't really want to make that like next next kit is going to be the dash hounds that's a completely different thing it might not suit people people i'm totally looking forward to it though because dogs are my thing <laughs> and that's going to be fun so yeah you can pick and choose the boxes if one doesn't work for you all right um, Alicia's asked the hubby, asked your hubby for the squirrel kit for your birthday on the thirteenth. Fingers crossed. Oh, cool! <laughs> yeah, and happy birthday for the thirteenth because I'll forget. But hey, that would be so cool. Um, yeah, Steffi saying to Serena, just ignore the others. Absolutely. Um, thing is when kids get older they get embarrassed about you as a parent that's the truth <laughs> Sophie hey there you've been finishing off DIY again <laughs> um I'm not sure what you said there that's <laughs> that that's a fingers must a type of mistake time for a cupper and watching you wow the butterflies looking amazing thank you so much so bold and colorful well the boldness and the colours, that's all you. That's the wonderful stuff that you gave us to work with. Um, yeah, it's cool. Um, oh, Steffi, oh, the chat jumped. Still have 20% discount on our felting fibres till midnight with the code HOOT20. I love that. Um, I was thinking of you girls today, actually, because I just, um, over this weekend, I just planted up my wildflower seeds. I'm really looking to go that to go that don't read and talk i'm really looking forward to growing that um serena yeah cool response to the people picking on you because you're you're young is you don't pay for them or care for them so mind your own business so try and be nice um to the mums and your son's friends with the kids yeah people are so rude um and yeah alicia's saying forget about these yeah absolutely serena it's not their life it's your life right i'm going to do this center bit i'm excited and nervous for getting this right because obviously it's body's an important part so yeah you might hear, just just chat amongst yourselves you might <laughs> i might be concentrating a bit here i want to get this looking okay because it's kind of cool and i love the way we laid down a lighter color for a bit of shading and now going over with a little bit of a an outline but the shading's still there so that's cool um, there's a little bit here <laughs> so much focus needed 
Right, where is... I'll put this here so you can see it. I want to try and figure out where the the body bit of the body of it. Thorax? I can't remember. If anyone knows anything about animal shapes and things. So I think it kind of comes in about here. It does now. Um, so that's a little line there. And the other side matching it. I felt it too much and hid the lines. <laughs> but well, I can kind of see a little bit. So that helps. And then there's like a little tiny V here. Loving all this detail. It's so cute and such a challenge, but it makes you can you can decide how much detail you're going to do, but I think it makes a difference to try and put in as much detail as possible because it's a challenge. A bit of black here. It's probably not showing up as much as I would like, but and this is a thicker black bit. And I did read the eyes here. I just kind of do little dots. And then I can add some of the orangey color into them. Was it supposed to be orange or brown? It's going to be orange now. <laughs> this is the, the blend that I made last week that I've left lying about anyway. his head. I should have background music or something. This is so good. Literally, I have to focus so much and you're getting the top of my head, aren't you? Someone should warn me. I should have like a buzzer that goes, Pam, seeing your head again. <laughs> right, and then we just have some little body stripes. The segments of his body. make these really fine which probably means they won't show up at all or they'll disappear into the fabric and that is something when you're felting fine details you have to be careful about how you felt because the needle can just take those tiny little details and kind of push it right through your fabric so you do have to be careful about how you felt into it as well and also the more fluffy I mean this is felting onto a fabric surface so it's different but if it's on a 2d piece a 3d piece the more fluffy your item is the more little bits are going to disappear into it so you've got to felt fairly firmly more little body lines here. And the other good thing is if you put anything on here that you don't like, if it's in the wrong place, you can literally just pull it off again and start with a different colour or a different place. Alright, now I can get back to <laughs> what nonsense everybody's speaking about. I miss the chat when I'm working away, so... Right, um, <laughs> oh, at 
Molly Sue as well saying to Serena, at least you'll be young enough to see your great and great grandkids. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good good point if if your kids have have kids young or something, but yeah. But yeah, it's good to it, it's not always good to wait until you're old before you do stuff. Um Southpaw, you can't find the Facebook group. You're in the USA. You should be able to get um the makers group and Pam Duffy's crafty friends both both in the USA. They should be open to everybody. Um what I will do, um Lily and Rosani can add links, but I will I will um Steffi when I see Sophie again um I'll pop you up but Steffi you are now a mod so you can add links if you want um in chat only moderators are allowed to add links to to chat to stop everyone spamming um it's a standard YouTube thing so there we go um I should have done that ages ago oh Serena saying that's why you had your kids young your parents have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old. Wow, and struggle to keep up with them when they're in their late forties and mid fifties. Yeah, I can't imagine. I'm, I suppose, <laughs> now heading into the the late forties. Well, mid mid forties, we'll say. And oh, I can't, I can't even imagine <laughs> having kids just now. Um, Lily Tree, you really want to see the sloths in a couple of months. Yeah, absolutely. That would be cool. Um, I've n never done a sloth and I kept many meaning to do one. So now I've got an excuse and I don't even have to think of how to do it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be so much fun. Steffi saying, don't forget to bring the sloths in tomorrow for Sophie. Awesome. Um... Lisa, enjoying the bites videos. Do you think you could do on write, one on writing Eatsy's description soon, please? Yep, absolutely. It is. And I'm tr There's going to be some other videos scattered in amongst the bites because I have a mind that goes off in all places. Um, but I'm trying to do the bites in some kind of a structured order. So we're talking about keywords, and then I've got at least a couple of videos on tags you wouldn't believe there's so much to talk about on tags i'm going to do some tags and then i'm going to do titles and then i'm going to do descriptions because what i wanted to do was to make them f fun and interesting and everything i hope um is you know if i was going to write if i was going to do a video on descriptions people have to understand what keywords are what tags are you know they have to understand all of this kind of things beforehand so I'm trying to do it in a sensible order but I will get there as soon as I can <laughs> absolutely um, Lily tree thorax head thorax abdomen thank you so much I, I was right yeah I got something right <laughs> yeah there there we go head thorax abdomen <laughs> do you know I was just thinking oh I could have done that neater and everything but it looks kind of painterly <laughs> almost I, I kind of like the the not being perfectness so that that's handy because i'm not perfect um steffi's saying maker's box last few days of the butterfly yep so you can get the butterfly people if you want it july's the tree hander dash hound so excited august is the sloth family wall hanging looking forward to them too september oh, sea otter and baby otter october is a wolf and um, yeah guys they're all good i'm actually all of them i'm looking forward to i've done loads of wolves i love making wolves so i'm looking forward to a different way to do it and otters who doesn't love otters get the get off my channel if you don't love otters don't don't stay please but yeah um sophie you'll have to i'll have to send you a photo of your wildflowers when the seeds grow i will indeed um I'm so excited to see all the sloths. Yeah, um, the other thing I did uh, when I when I was walking, there was these were the irises, beautiful big purple plant them um, flowers in 
the wilderness where I was walking and someone said I should collect the seeds so I've as the seed heads have started to become seed heads instead of flowers I've collected some of them so I'm going to add like try try more more wild flowery stuff um oh cool yeah um ah <laughs> The chat's jumping. Yeah, so Alicia was asking if we get the wire, the, the vine and the bamboo too for the hanging sloths and Sophie's saying yes, we get everything. Uh, Serena, yes, yeah, I'm great few months. Absolutely, it's like Christmas every month, I know. And I believe I just saw the makers had they've started to talk about their Christmas Advent pack. I'm g <laughs> I saw that and it was just like, that sounds like so much fun as well. I missed it last year. Um... Oh, Alicia's from Texas, but live in the UK, Bristol area. Um, <laughs> Alicia, don't mind. Love your hair and the wool so much. You want yours just like it. Hair or the wool? You can get the wool super easy. Just go onto eBay and Google uh, brick wool um, brick wool photography backdrops, and it should come up. It's so cheap. I shouldn't ever know have it, and it will stop being my thing. The hair takes longer. Um, in South Pole's in Mich Michigan. Steffi loves the stabbing noise, yes. E uh, Alicia, cool, thank you. Butterflies are with Steffi tomorrow at 2 o'clock BST. Uh, Lily's slowly building your studio setup. Yeah, you have two shelves to put up in the background, but you don't know whether to splatter some colour on the wall first. Colour? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, George saying way to go to Lily. Absolutely. Oh, cool. Steffi got the links in. Um, oh, there's Sophie as well. I can make Sophie a mod also. I have to find people in the chat before I can do these things. There we go. Um, Oh, Sophie's saying you're just researching. It looks like there's an app or a plugin that reads out live chat out to you while you're concentrating on your felting. Wow, that sounds cool. Um, <laughs> thank you for the links. <laughs> thank you. Elisa, um, thank you. Plan for the bite sounds great. Understand why you'd have a structure. I'll follow along as I'm building up my shop. Thanks. No problem at all. I know it's so frustrating because you want everything at once but um and it is it is for me as well when i make a video i want to do all the detail at once but then i realize the the really simple thing from to be honest from a youtube algorithm thing it works better for me if if i did a 30 minute video that covered absolutely everything then it would get great watch time it would maybe get like 15 minutes watch time or something but that would mean that most people wouldn't see half of the video. Whereas if I do really quick bites, then people watch a whole lot more. They're more likely to get to the end and then watch another bite. So it looks better for me. It's also easier to do from my point of view, because then I can really deep dive and think, you know, what's the keyword? And, you know, go into all of these things. Um, so I, I, it's working pretty good for, for me that way as well. But it is difficult not to just do... Because I... Um, the, the, there's so many questions come up and stuff and I'm like yeah I want to do a video on that I want to do that I want to do that it's like no stick to the structure Pam behave yourself <laughs> oh we just oh no there's black bit in here don't forget this black bit that's cool I was going to say we're nearly nearly just onto the black outline but no that's cool we've got another bit oh and when I look closely, there's little blue lines there. Cool. <laughs> That's nice. So, yes, we can get this black bit in. And I did leave leave on this side, put it fine enough so I can actually see where I'm supposed to be putting it, which helps. Oh, 
Oh, it's really starting to rain outside. We well, fact, Scotland is crazy. Like I say, like on Thursday it was coming up for the mid thirties in temperature, like ninety Fahrenheit, high nineties or something. It was revoltingly hot. Um and now it's freezing again. I'm I'm saying I'm in a jumper. I'm in a jumper with a cut out front, but I'm in a jumper. Um Yeah, so that's see when people when people from the UK complain about it being hot and like you're from Australia or somewhere warm and you go what on earth are they complaining about we firstly have no air conditioning air conditioning is not a thing and secondly we um, don't get time to acclimatize to it it goes really warm freezing really warm <laughs> Sorry if you've got headphones on and I'm shouting down the microphone. But yeah, um, it just goes from freezing to warm to freezing again in like a day. So you don't get a chance to acclimatise to it. So that's that's why we whinge about the weather all the time. Because we have lots of weather. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> so yes whinging because I could hear the raindrops hammering on my window <laughs> there it is Daft. and my dog Mia she's decided to, today she decided she's being a cat I think a dozen times this morning she asked me if she could go out into the garden and I opened the back door and she ran up to the back door and then just stopped there and was like no and I shut the back door and then she she would literally come running up again and go like, can we see? Can we see if you fixed the weather now? And I would open the door and she would just stand there again and go, nope, nope, th this is no good. I will not be going out in, in this. Can, we, can I come back in again? And I got so fed that I knew she needed the loot. So I went out with her and I went to walk onto the grass and she wouldn't come. So I had a little treat and I kind of lured her in with a little treat. And she put a paw on the grass, and then it was just like, nope, that's wet. <laughs> and she's not, I mean, this is like a mud snorkeling dog. <laughs> but no, she just decided, no, we're, we won't be having rain, thank you. Um, right, I can put these little bits of blue on, and then we're on to the noisy, felty bit again. And then it's the black, and then the little veins. And yeah, then, I think... We are very close to having something here. And yeah, the black bit's going to be me being quiet for a lot because <laughs> it's so much focus. I think that kind of goes way up there, so it's fun just having different splashes of colour. But yes, yeah, something reading out the chat would be so helpful because I know I can see it when I look up. I can see it scrolling past. I just can't get. <laughs> I can't get to it. Right, that's that bit. Bring on the noise. <laughs> I'm loving this though, it's working so well. Okay, um Alicia, yours looks too perfect. You had to use your needle to mess it up and allow more blending. <laughs> well, that's the cool thing with, with felting. You totally can do that. Um, you can mess it up with your needle. Another thing, if you've got the reverse needles, you can pull some fibres through other fibres. And that can really... I don't know how well it would work on this because it's such a thin surface. But, yeah, that's another use for the reverse felting needle. Um... Stop skipping when I'm just about to read out something. Yeah, George on the Rocks has just submitted his request for membership. You don't felt, but it will be fun. Yeah, crafty, 
crafty people we don't have to all do the same thing to still enjoy each other's company um <laughs> cj i love otters <laughs> please let me stay <laughs> you may stay <laughs> Oh, uh, Serena, your other half bought you the advent calendar. You're so excited. Awesome. Oh, Alicia, you want you want the hair. Um, directions hair colour. That's what I'm using just now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I can't tell you the colours because I buy loads of different colours and just randomly use whichever ones are sitting around. I actually thought, because um, I was very bored, when I did my first day of lockdown, that there was absolutely no reason for me to have let let it go so faded out. I just wanted to see what my real hair colour looked like, to be honest. And um, but when I did my first dyeing, I thought, should I actually film this and show people how I dye my hair? But I chickened out because I just look so stupid because it goes up in like little keep hitting the mic goes up in like little kind of bunches of colour and stuff. It's it's crazy. <laughs> George, you have an aversion to needles, but they find me no matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I hate sewing. Um, if the the hedgehog kit that someone mentioned before, when I did the the maker's hedgehog, there's a bit you're supposed to sew in it, and I think I just felted it. I was just like, I'm not even going to sew. I hate sewing. <laughs> but yes, you have your acrylics because for those that don't know, George does have a YouTube channel. George does painted painted rocks. That's the, the, it's it's not a a whiskey drink drinking channel he's <laughs> he's rock painting which is awesome oh well, i'm gonna have to hurry up the <laughs> the the un the makers only have about a quarter of the advent calendar pre-orders left already they're selling out in record time wow fantastic oh gwen thank you saying this is beautiful it really is it's such a lovely kit um Alicia's saying, I wish I could paint some terrible. Took lessons and it was a laugh. Uh, actually, not terrible at needle felting. There you go. You can always find find a thing, find an outlet. Um, yeah, painting's a totally different skill. Um, taking classes is obviously a good idea for anything because there's always t tips and tricks to, to help you out. And also, like, the more you're working on one thing you might find your artistic skills for other things get a little bit better too possibly that's my hope um as serena saying to sophie your husband but your other half bought the kit as soon as it went live even put your email address in um <laughs> yes pam get your advent calendar as soon as possible yes i i will Gwen started your dragon. Awesome! I love seeing everybody's dragons. Mine. You're probably just off. Yeah, just off screen. But my dra one of my dragons is sitting there. I've got another one downstairs. Um. Southpaw, what about the advent calendar? I'm new here, so I don't know what it is. I know what it is, but. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's. You'll see coming up to advent, but it, it's little goodies each day for advent um wool and accessories and things and contests i'm reading alicia's comments now because <laughs> it's easier than me remembering and contests on the facebook page yeah last year looked so much fun and i was i was sad that i missed it um oh gwen your dragon's turning out beautiful awesome uh, alicia this will be your first year for the advent calendar um <laughs> Yeah, the advent calendars are at the makers. There is a link in the description of this video, or I'm sure the girls have have put up a link. Um, Faith still in the bottom corner of the background. <laughs> uh, Gwen, do I have an Instagram? I do indeed. Uh, probably Ben McFuzzy Lugs. It would be under that name, or you might find it under Pam Duffy. I can't remember. <laughs> I do use it. I don't. I don't use it much but I I put up my pictures and things on it. Um Right, let's let's get <laughs> This is cool. I'm getting distracted with too much awesome chat. So thank you all guys. Um but I do have to get I I promised I would finish this butterfly today. So finish this butterfly. I must. <laughs> He's nearly done. I mean this outline won't take too long. I'm just trying to I lost some of the shaping 
in it while I was adding in the colour. So we'll try try and get him butterfly shaped. And there's even little bits of black coming in here. Yeah, so we'll just try and trying to get him as similar to the painting as I can, but it's not going to be, especially <laughs> especially not at the speed. <laughs> and for those that don't know, by the way, when I'm switching out, I am switching off of just a regular yucky foam pad to using a brush mat, and um, when I'm focusing in on a little area, I I'm enjoy the the makers very kindly sent me that last week which has been great and it's great fun but I just for the large areas I'm using this so you can all see if I was working myself taking my time then I would stay on the brush mat because it has been really great fun to use so yeah that's that's what I'm doing there um, but yes I'm trying to leave something so that you can actually see what I'm doing a bit we're getting there. Crunchy. <laughs> but yeah, looking backwards and forwards from the picture to try and to try and do the artist as much justice as I can because she's done a great job. Because actually even even my mum, even though she didn't she didn't comment, mum's been sitting watching this and going, can't buy a <laughs> can't buy a needle felting kit, can't do needle felting. Because she tried um when I first started needle felting for those who don't don't know the story of it many many moons ago uh, about 2008 I was in I was bored trailing around after mum in a craft shop um, and the book needle felted dogs just popped out at me because it's dogs and I like dogs and so I thought I'd give it a try and um, bought the book and then looked at all the looked at it thought that sounded cool so ordered in some of the supplies and mum ordered herself a kit as well and we both had a go and I fell in love and mum decided that hers was terrible basically just because she'd stopped too soon um so yeah mum never really got into the felting but wanted to um and I did it was just my my thing um but yeah that's the difference Generally, the difference in between being a good filter and a bad filter is there's not skill. It's just stopping while it... Cause it's, it's always going to look terrible at some points. So if you stop while it's looking terrible, then you'll never be a good filter. But if you keep going and force it into submission, then I think most people can do some some level of really cool felting especially if you get the makers kits and <laughs> follow their tutorials because they they give really cool instructions because literally if i can do something while attempting to talk to you guys <laughs> then anybody can i say attempting to talk and then go quiet again can, can somebody sing <laughs> Somebody sing to keep everyone occupied. I mm, I really want to do this kind of zebrity zebrity pattern at the top. I'm just wondering how well I can do this because it would I would literally in real life I would have it right up at my face to do it. Maybe ah I'll do it and I I know I've had a thinking. We'll get onto that in a minute. <laughs> Um, oh, there. Yes. I already did. I'm good. There's lines there. No, I've already done them lines. Um, that was nearly whizzed round these wings. There are a couple of little lines coming out of here, somewhere about here. I 
it just gives the feel of the texture of the wing I think and I'm trying because this bit of the wing is kind of lumpy and tattered I'm trying to manipulate the wool a little bit so it gets a little more texture than just being a straight line take your time on this section for sure it seems such a shame to rush it <laughs> all the edges until we get to this bit but I'll just firm this up and check the chat we are getting there um, oh cool Sophie's got the uh, links <laughs> uh, Sophie's got the links up and the chat jumped again Alicia's saying you you paint rocks too. Cool. If you want anyone on here, which is Lily, George, and the makers, anyone else got a YouTube channel that I'm missing that's in today? I'm not sure. But if you want, in the chat, when you hover over their name, three little dots come up at the right-hand side, and that, that says take to channel. And also the name, like George on the Rocks is... YouTube channel is George on the Rocks because he's posting under his YouTube channel name. Uh, the same with Lily, her her channel is is what her name is there. And totally Lily's wi wire wrapped jewellery, George's rocks painting words, and the makers are needle felting. Southpaw's just ordered the advent calendar. Awesome! Uh, Gwen, not bad at needle felting. It's new, but I think I did a good job on it and the things you've done so far. Awesome! That is so good to hear. We've got another convert. <laughs> and Alicia say, yay, Southpaw! <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see everybody's stuff on the advent. That's going to be so exciting. Hopefully. The only problem is, like... I'm just thinking thinking ahead and going for Advent, it would be really cool to to sort of do a little everyday live or something. That would be fun. Usually I am super busy for Christmas, but I'm just thinking like last Christmas I shut off new orders before what's that American holiday? Before like Black Friday, I shut off new orders. So yeah, I could plan ahead and not be crazy busy. <laughs> uh, Sophie, you can design your own projects and in enter into our Advent co competitions on, fa on the Facebook group and the Happy Place Forum online. Awesome. That's going to be so much fun. Um, uh, George on the Rocks is asking about the version of something Nerdy Crafter did yeah a couple of weeks ago probably longer than that now because time is weird um, but Nerdy Crafter did a tutorial she for those that don't know Nerdy Crafter is awesome and a crafter um, but her main craft when she does it is polymer clay sculptures and she did a couple of tutorials doing like little there was a dragon um and some other things I can't remember but they were really cool and I just thought like a couple of years ago we did a I found a wood carver who had done a great tutorial for carving little wood wizard's faces in wood and while I was watching his tutorial I was felting along I was felting his steps where he was carving in I was felting in and it worked really well so I just did a video we we felted together the wizard's face so I thought let's try somebody a different media's um, tutorial and see how it goes so yeah that's the plan to felt along 
to a nerdy crafters tutorial if anybody's interested in it um right i'm going to focus for a bit and do this this bit because i want to do this bit <laughs> uh so i think firstly when i say this bit it's this patterned bit on top of the wings so it seems to have a line at the bottom so i've got wrong needle um that's too fine a needle so it was just vanishing um yeah so it seems to have a line going right at the bottom so that will tie me in so i know where i need to be <laughs> nervy about this bit but th these are the final little details so it's all cool um and then a little bit more of the black coming down here And then it's like really cool. It's like leopard print or something. So it's not going to, it's just going to be little splodges in my world. But we'll see how it goes. Sorry about the head. <laughs> but yeah, I said, I said I was going to do the fine details. So I'll do the fine details as best as I can. So I'm doing like a splodge at the top and then a splodge, a splodge coming from the top down and a splodge coming from the bottom up. I think I've been felting so much this needle's got blunt and I haven't got around to replacing it yet. So it's not quite gripping as well as I would like. And I'm just breaking off like tiny little bits of felt, f of wool, rolling them between my fingers and then popping them to make sort of sausagey shapes and then popping them on here. So I'm not completely in control of what shape everything is and where it goes. And they're so tiny again, this is one to watch that they don't just disappear right through the fabric. And probably on the camera you can't even see it but I I wanted to do this so just a little extra bit of detail now this is really cool because there's some bits that the fabric's showing through and some bits that it's all felt so it is mixed mixed media where did that bit of black go no <laughs> oh there it is it's kind of there it's not perfect but yeah I think you kind of get the gist of it uh, just got to do this side and then we're going to add the veins to the wings then I think we're nearly done and then we'll get to compare to, to how well the makers did compared to me <laughs> I think there's going to be quite a difference but I'm still I'm happy I'm happy with with this anyway and it will get a it'll get a place somewhere in my tiny little studio somehow <laughs> i just have to figure out how to attach it I keep looking at the wee eyes there, they're just so cute. I don't know how well you can see them. Um, I will I will try and give you all a close up when I'm done here um, because it's just a little bit far away so you can't necessarily see everything. So we'll try and do a, cl a close up of the finished piece. Oh, 
Okay, that's that bit. Just the veins to go and then fold it into submission. So it says use the brown. I think this do you know I've got a slightly darker brown here. I'm gonna use that for no reason other than it's sitting here. Um and so they come out. Kind of works. It's really fun to try and to decide whether you want to do a kind of more painterly style, blend things in and make it look painterly, or to try and do the more realistic style. Um, obviously I'm going for the more painterly <laughs> because it's a bit easier than than trying to be realistic. But when you're going to do any of these, another thing that you can do... Oh, I nearly forgot. There's some extra spots on the wings. We'll come back to them. Um, before you do any of these kits, it can be cool to have do a little study on the animal that you're going to do or the butterfly you know, look at pictures and see what they look like from different angles and and little things like that it can really help you to sort of get to know the beastie that you're making um even although the maker's kits are absolutely fantastic and have loads of details it's it's fun to research a bit as well Right, I nearly, nearly forgot about them. So where's my? <laughs> where did I put that blend that I made? Uh, that'll do. Oh no, it's not. It's blue. It's blue. Right. <laughs> so we're going to do a little blob of blue here. Nearly forgot that. And a blob here. white here yeah bigger blob of white <laughs> bigger blob of white here and a bit here there we go now I'll just keep it on here so it's nice and flat and you can all see it but We'll take, we'll felt it all together, and then I'll see what you're saying in the chat, guys. Oh yeah, no, it's not. No, that's not nice. <laughs> no, we'll do it here. That's much better, right? <laughs> um, Faith, yeah, you're so happy you got the advent calendar this year. You missed out last year, as did I. It felt really left out. Yeah, I. I kind of heard of it and then I forgot about it and I totally forgot and didn't didn't sort it out in time and then I saw everyone's stuff and I was like oh that's so cool <laughs> so yes yeah, so that's what I have to do when I get off of here <laughs> um Sophie saying she looks forward to seeing South Pause advent calendar absolutely uh Gwen yeah you're gonna post your dragon when she's done to Instagram absolutely yes yeah, so tag um, at Ben McFuzzy Lugs. Definitely, I know that works. Um, and Alicia, yeah, thank you. So, um, we have Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends on Facebook as well. Uh, Gwen, did I start with pre-felt for this? If you look back, I have... Um, this is the third live video of this, and you'll see what it was at the start. But, no, it's a canvasy fabric I think that it comes in the kit it's all printed on um, 
Uh, you can see little bits of it here. It's, it's a printed canvas that you felt onto, and it works really, really good. Um, yeah, and it, it's a felting by numbers. Um, oh, George, um, <laughs> could you reference the dragon? I might try and do it on a rock painting. Awesome. Um, if you just search on YouTube for Pam Duffy dragon, you'll probably see it. Um... Alicia's saying to Gwen, yeah, it was printed on a piece of fabric. That's why it's so crunchy. Yeah, it, it felt really nicely, though. It's good, but the, there is quite a noise going on. Um. Oh, Sophie, they'll save me an advent calendar. Thank you very much. So even if you sell out just now, <laughs> put one aside for me. Um. Lily Tree, yeah, you just realised with the good weather last week you should have done some wet felting. Absolutely, that would have been a cool time to do it. I've only tried a little bit of wet felting. I think you need quite a lot of space for <laughs> wet felting. Um, which, if anyone's new to new to this, you can uh, to to create fabrics. Basically, you can take your wool and everything and mix mix in some soap and agitate it in a flat flat surface usually you kind of roll it up with some bubble wrap and stuff and roll it put a lot of energy into it you can create 2d wet well fabric pieces that's how you get all these fab like hats and shoes and all sorts of clothing items with wet felting as opposed needle felting is good for like fine details wet felting can churn out really cool fabric um so yeah, it would have been cool with the good, the good weather, absolutely. And Rosani, yep, um, agreeing. George, I'd love to see you do a dragon rock. As what anybody who wants to do dragon things, totally do dragon things. Um, makers, a, a, a dragon painting would be awesome. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Lily tree, bored in a craft shop, does not compute. <laughs> chat jumped again um, oh, wait, I don't want to miss chat stop doing that um, let me go back to chat again sorry <laughs> Alicia's singing I got this. I'm not going to do it I'll get copyright struck and my singing's terrible but you got sunshine on a cloudy day <laughs> Thank you. So you were singing along while I was doing the quiet bits. Um, <laughs> Faith's right hand corner now done. So you left right. Yep. So you've got got this bit, which is quite detailed. But looking forward to seeing it. Um, <laughs> yeah, George is warning Alicia of her singing. You'll get my, my video demonetized. It's okay. You can you can type singing. It's just I couldn't sing it. Um, <laughs> Uh, Alicia asking what time on Wednesdays do you do your craft, craft clip? Uh, nope, that's probably the makers. You mean I don't... This this is my only live crafty thing, but the makers have been doing lots of wonderful live videos all through this difficult times, and I hopefully, I'm hoping you guys are hooked now and you'll be doing more live videos as time goes on, because it's fun. Um... Oh, Faith, thank you. You just looked up and mine looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh, ne Amanda, hello there. Good to see you. Um, and yeah, yes, I totally forgot when I'm saying everybody else's channel. Rosani as well has a channel. I, I totally should have remembered because Rosani does dragons and, and other things. But Rosani does dragons, <laughs> so you get brownie points from me. So Rosani is very talented paper mache or papier mache to say it properly artist and she has done doing videos dragons um all fun sort of masquerade macabre style love it um so yes everyone go along to rosani's youtube channel as well some awesome stuff <laughs> serena's gonna attempt 
tiny fingers and toes for a squirrel wonder how many injuries are gonna happen good luck i'm sure you'll be fine but yeah those little things are so fiddly i did used to do um commissions for i made like a squirrel that was less than an inch long um, and i did used to do commissions for them but i stopped with that because literally it's almost the same amount of work as an item that's four or five times the size of it and yeah there's just too much injuries um rosani oh thank you you love that i bring creatives together thank you um i it's it's luck and i'm very blessed that you all hang out and we've got so many different types of artists it's very cool so many types of crappy people <laughs> uh alicia's saying you have a little mouse you have to do tomorrow it'll be your first time oh awesome Mises are fun too um and george saying good luck to alicia i am sure it will be great as well yes um <laughs> Serena made the first squirrel from a maker's kit but had a mad idea to give the second one fingers and toes hey it's always good to challenge yourself for sure right I'm going to come off this now because I'm concentrating so I'm just going to do that <laughs> um, where did I go to and Serena's never done them either. The other half is taking the kids tonight, so you'll have a go. Oh, awesome. Yeah, fantastic. That sounds good. Good luck. Um, have plasters on on hand? Have plasters on standby? No, I'm sure you'll be fine. And, yeah, it's really good to challenge yourself, especially I found, like, making the small things, like the teeny squirrel, and I did some, like, teeny, teeny panda bears and stuff. If you practice... Oh, that's where you went if you practice in different sizes then your skill when you go back up to a bigger size you're you're better at doing the fine details so it's really cool to do it even though it's dangerous um oh alicia yeah some some me me time for serena enjoy it i bet you do deserve it yes absolutely with getting a break from the kids um a uh, george is going to paint the nerdy crafter dragon awesome and mail it to her <laughs> oh that's cute so she may hide it for you as a kindness stone that's a lovely thought yes um Wyoletta. do i say it like that Wyoletta. a beautiful name um hi pam love watching your videos thank you so much um recently my eatsy taxis are becoming a lot oh eatsy started taxing me so much more as soon as i began to get more sales oh i'm sorry to hear that taxis are being taxing i literally my my advice for taxis for anybody um i can not a tax expert don't take tax advice from me in any way shape or form um but i would say as soon as you're making so much money that taxes become a pain i would look into hiring somebody because taxes is the one thing you don't want to mess up on um so yeah that's that's my advice or at least um i know check in your country i know in the uk the tax office do run courses and they they are supposed to be helpful and approachable so do anything you're not sure about you know get expert help because taxes isn't something you want to mess up, mess up with and who know you know you could you could have someone in your friends group that you didn't realize that's maybe training up to be an accountant or someone who's a bit of an expert that could give you a bit of bit of help for <coughs> for the price of buying them a bottle of whiskey or you know mates rates but still pay people fairly but <laughs> um Uh, Sophie's saying it's amazing to say, see how all these differently these butterflies come out. Absolutely, everyone's interpreted the picture in a different way, and I emphasise different aspects of it. They're all beautiful. Yeah, I completely agree. I, I've seen a few of them. I'll have to pop into the group again and have a look for the the rest because the ones I've seen are so stunning. 
And oddly enough, I didn't realise until I started that this background is leaves. It looked like some beautiful kind of abstractness. But then I realised, like, no, nope, it's leaves. And it's really cool. I love the greens and the pinks. Yeah, totally. And anything you can add purpley pink colour to, you absolutely should. Um... A lily tree. I wonder what a felted elephant hawk moth would turn out like. Let us know when you try it. <laughs> uh, and Sophie's saying you've done. Oh, stop skipping chat. You've done two of this print. Um, I'm sure you've seen everyone else's on Everyone's a Maker. Used to make a lot of butterflies and sell them in box frames. Peacock butterflies are your favourite. Oh, lovely. Yes, I love butterflies. And I really enjoyed a few years ago, we used the water soluble paper to make a to make a butterfly as well. That was so much fun. And then I went and ran with it and did a fairy wings as well with the same stuff. The water soluble paper is so cool if you want a, not as a painting, but you can also, you can the tip I got from the makers was if you don't rinse all the paper out it's almost like a bit of starchiness so it can hold cool shapes um, Olivia, hello beautiful paint, painterly butterfly thank you so much, it's been a great kit oh Rosani thank you so much, yeah guys if, if you're enjoying hanging out don't forget to hit the, hit the thumbs up button and set your alarm to come back every Sunday at this time whatever time this time is for you but I think we've done it <laughs> I think this is done I'm just going to go through the chat and then I will show you this guy and then we will finish up um, oh, CJ you're of high taxes in Canada um, but my attitude is more I'm taxed the better I'm doing very true yep <laughs> uh, George reference photos are a good idea yep absolutely the images go into your subconscious and surface during the creation yeah that's it if you've looked into it and like you're aware of what the thorax is and I think if you know like what these little line you know you're seeing the veins on the, the wings and everything if you know what they are then you can do them sort of a little bit you've got more understanding to do them better as it were um, Olivia's is wet felting what's used for clothing yes absolutely and you can get some fantastically fun and wacky wacky clothing with wet felting I'm not very good at it uh, George will look up the dragon awesome and uh, yeah let me know if you get anything if you do anything um, Uh, Alicia saying that the ones you've been watching are just old ones you used to do the review people's felting products. Oh yes, that was oh thank you. You're the first. I'm the first person you found on YouTube for um, needle felting. Oh thank you. Yes, a couple of years ago I did have a schedule. I was far more organised, and Wednesdays were my needle felting days. Yes, so I totally forgot about that. Thank you. Yes, um, I don't have a schedule anymore. A life has got a a lot more busy <laughs> um, I've got a lot of things on so I haven't had the chance to do as many needle felting videos as I wanted to which is why I'm enjoying being able to do Sunday because I'm able to do little flights of fancy but my business making felt for customers really took off um, and also I got I, I got some more opportunities um, due to this YouTube channel and everything that's going on so yes I got busy but I'm, I'm staying <laughs> I'm doing what I can and I really want to do more felting videos but I just I need more hours in the day and it's I can't even say that I'm that that busy I'm just so that unorganized that the day just goes by um, uh, cool um, links to the makers YouTube channel you guys have to check it out they're doing tons of live videos that are so so much fun um, oh Lily yeah good points as well yeah to Olivia's you can knit and crochet wool and felt it um, that could be good for some thin dragon wings eh? see like the way you think always ideas 
Um, oh, George, thank you so much. Beautiful butterfly, and glad you watched today. Um, I have such nice energy. Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. Um, Oh, Lisa, you've made butterflies with paper doilies. So pretty. That sounds nice. Oh, face. Fantastic. Sorry, that was a bit loud. My voice is doing its own thing. The water-soluble paper butterfly was the first video you saw and the reason you looked up at the makers. Oh, fantastic. It all comes f full circle. Yeah, that w I really enjoyed doing that one. I did it completely wrong and then... I think that was one of the first times I I spoke to the, spoke to the girls because they were very politely telling me um you kind of did that wrong. <laughs> well, not they weren't as mean as that. You, it was like here is an easier way you could have done that. Um, oh, Alicia, you got the water soluble paper last order. Yeah, it's great stuff. Right, I will I will tell you the tip that the girls gave me which was great because when I was doing the butterfly and I drew onto the water soil I traced the butterfly all the beautiful color colorations in the butterfly and then I realized if I just felted it over then I would lose all the coloration so I did each color bit separate and then sort of had to felt them to join them together but I was told if I'd have done the second piece of water soluble paper and done like a full solid colour and then put the second piece on I could have felted all the detail on and it would have been a lot less crazy than what I did <laughs> oh Sophie thank you so much I'm um, saying I did a fab job of the butterfly thank you it was such it's such a beautiful kit I'm glad you made the most of all the details I I would I I'm a fiddler I would love to sit and really get in and do more shading and all the things but sometimes it's good to force yourself to stop take your advice Pam sometimes it's good to force yourself to stop at maybe a different place than you'd have thought of another thing I think that could be really fun with this as we've been talking of wet felting is to maybe try wet felting this just now and then see what you get and then pick up the details if anything gets lost that could be really pretty Temp I don't want to ruin it but I am tempted as well <laughs> now that Lily's mentioned wet felting uh, George and the Rocks, could you reference my channel for giving you the idea? Of course, absolutely. You can always... I, I don't think any YouTuber would say it's a bad thing to to give a mention of somebody else like that. I completely appreciate it. Right, let's go. Probably easier to see things from this angle. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to see this. Here is me butterfly. That's how she turned out in the end. So that, <laughs> that has been a whole heap of fun. Right, I will, as always, and thank you so much, the makers, for this kit. It has been gorgeous and great fun. And yeah, I've I've loved the felting onto this, this fabric. Um, it's all been good. So if anyone hasn't had it, there's a couple of more days you can get this kit. I've been informed. <laughs> um, so it's certainly beginner project friendly absolutely um yeah <laughs> absolutely yeah so so that's that and po we'll either next week we'll either do the dash hands if they're here i'm not sure when that kit comes in it should be soon but obviously the postal service is struggling still um either that or i have a bengal cat to do in Japanese again because <laughs> I'm a sucker for punishment so I bought another Japanese kit um, but other than that we've got three dash hands to do um, <laughs> Lily Tree oh dear it's going to be my fault if it goes wrong <laughs> Alicia you can wet felt it for us so we don't list, risk it yeah I'll see if I can find my wet I haven't done wet felting in forever um gorgeous oh thank you lily tree Alicia thank you <laughs> great job um George thank you so much uh Faith saying wow the detail is lovely thank you looks beautiful thank you for allowing oh no allow it thank you so much for watching I can this is so much easier when I have people to chat to thank you so much 
Uh, Lily, thanks fam, have a great week everyone. Um, Alicia, looking forward to doggies next week. Uh, Rosani, thank you, thank you Rosani, good, good to hang out with you. Uh, see you next time, got to start cooking burgers for lunch. Yum, yeah, I've got to have my tea. Um, Alicia saying, keep going Faith, you can do it. Absolutely, I look forward to seeing your butterfly Faith. Erica, hello there from Holland, Southport. Glad you found you found me. I'm glad I'm glad you found us too. Welcome to the community. Thank you. Um, Erica, you did a great job. Thank you guys are so nice. Thank you so much. It is a great kit. Right. I'm gonna finish now and I'm going to remember to do the saying goodbye and then sitting around so I don't cut you off. So everyone, have an awesome week and I will uh, Pop, watch any of my old videos absolutely watch old videos <laughs> and I will see you in the next video now I sit around like an idiot for a few minutes